Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 31st of 2024 is titled Rigel and the Witchhead Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here we see two things, the bright star Rigel to the upper right hand side, and that is one of the brighter stars in the constellation of Orion. And in fact, the one down in the lower right hand side, that is the bright blue star signifying how hot it is. Now the other thing we see here is the Witch Head Nebula down towards the bottom of the image and you may be able to make out the face of a witch in there. And this is an example of a reflection nebula. Now a reflection nebula occurs when there is a hot star around. So we have Rigel here, which is a very hot blue star. And that when it reaches dust, the dust grains will scatter the light. Now the dust grains are very good at scattering short wavelengths like blue light and that gives a slight bluish tinge to the Witch Head Nebula. And they're not so good at scattering long wavelength or redder light. So the red light passes through the nebula essentially untouched. And that's a very similar process to what happens in our own sky. So here we see the nebula with a slightly bluish tinge. Why is our sky blue? Well, it's the same kind of thing, except that it's not dust grains doing the scattering here. It's actually molecules in the atmosphere, and that is molecules of nitrogen and oxygen, which make up the vast majority of our own atmosphere. So that is why the sky is blue. As the sunlight travels through the atmosphere, a lot of the light is scattered out, and the blue light then seems to come from all directions. And you'll notice this effect as you watch a sunset. As the sun gets lower in the sky, it goes from a yellow to an orange to a deep red. Well, the sun isn't changing. It's still exactly the same as it's always been emitting all colors of light. But as it gets close to the horizon, the light has to travel through more atmosphere and therefore the sun looks redder. And the same thing happens to stars. When we have to look at stars through a lot of dust, they actually redden as well. And that's what is called interstellar reddening and will change the apparent colors of stars because not all of their blue light is making it through. So if you're looking through a dense enough dust cloud, a star that is really very blue, giving out a lot of blue light, may appear reddish in color because all of that blue, blue light is gone. And the same thing again happens with our own sun as it gets close to the horizon. The sun isn't changing color. It's our atmosphere that is scattering that light around, giving us our blue sky and the red sunset. So that was our picture of the day for October 31st of 2024. It was titled Rigel and the Witch Head Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.